Welcome to the Allstate Bontrager Insurance Agency pregame show. I'm standing here with Coach Moore. Coach, we got a big one tonight. It's always fun. It's the Copper Kettle. Let's go up to Carmel and see if we can get one. Yeah, big Mick game, our second Mick game of the season. Uh, if we could win this game and be 2-0 in the Mick, it'd be huge. Good for our program, good for the rest of the schedule. But, yes, this is an important game because, one, it's the next game. Two, it's the next Mick game. And three, it's for the Copper Kettle. So we're all excited to be playing at Carmel tonight for the Copper Kettle and what seems to be hopefully be a great game. It's going to be a steam bath because it's really going to be hot. Carmel obviously always has a tremendous amount of talent. And uh, in Array, they remind me a little bit of Ben Davis last year with their quarterback. Uh, ben Davis had Kastner last year, who was a leader on the field, and that's what they have at Carmel this year with their quarterback. Yeah, he makes great plays, and he, what uh, is tough for the defense is he keeps the ball alive. He doesn't get sacked easily. He scrambles, and on his way to scrambling, he finds someone. And against LaSalle last week, he scrambled in through a 38-yard touchdown pass. Uh, he, he's just an all-around great football player, great athlete. Uh, their, their running backs are tremendous. They have really uh, tall receivers and tight ends. Uh, their offensive line is big like normal. Their kicking game is good. Their defense is very structured and very sound and very disciplined. Got great size. Uh, they play a little different, you know, technique on defense, which uh, it troubles a lot of teams. You know, we've went against it now for 15 times, so I think we can figure it out a little bit. But just when you think you got to figure it out, they change something like all good teams do. It's just going to take a solid effort on our offensive line and putting a hat on a hat out there tonight to get make some uh, lanes for our backs to uh, run through. We'll use six running backs tonight. It's going to be hot. We've been preparing since last week about talking about using all six running backs tonight and, and giving some guys some rest and taking some poundage off some people. So uh, we're going to go after them. Uh, our game plan is sort of simple, but hopefully it will be effective. Their defense is led by Noah Burks, who just committed to Wisconsin, and you said they, they, they really run to the ball well. They're big. They're aggressive. Um, the other thing – Kind of like Warren this year. They have a new offensive coordinator. They have a new head coach, but he's been the defensive coach for many years at Carmel. Their their offense is coming from a gentleman that used to be on the Colts staff, and uh, tight ends a part of their offense, which hasn't been the case in many years. Yeah, well, they, they've had tight ends. They just split them out and used them as receivers because they're so athletic. Uh, yeah, they use the tight end some. They do throw the ball a lot, uh, not a lot more than they did last year, but uh, you can tell they throw more. I just think they're more confident in their offensive line throwing the football, and I think that their running backs are very so solid that if they feel like if they get in a hole that their running backs can get them out of it. Uh, I don't know if they got the, the deep threat as they had last year, this, that one guy that could just kill you deep. But, uh, man, they're going to they have a great play action and, uh, and ball control uh, offense. And their defense, though, their linebackers are new. Uh, the inside guys are new, but the outside guys are, are old guys. Like you said, Burke, number four, going to Wisconsin, is a tremendous football player. Uh, their corners tackle extremely well. And, as always, the Carmel safeties play downhill and will really hit you. We've had two challenging games uh, to start the season. Last week we came out on fire. Uh, Javon Swan had a great game up front, really controlled the line of scrimmage on the defensive side of things. And then Joey's come back and continued to be very consistent in the passing game. And what's impressive about Joey this year is he's hit a lot of different receivers. I think he's up to eight or nine uh, in the 14 passes he's attempted, which is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, people say, oh, we don't throw the ball a lot. But if you look on Max Preps, Joey Siderwitz is the one, number, has the number one quarterback ranking and rating in the country with 1,000, with 14 for 14, no interceptions, three TDs. Uh, and the other guys listed have less completion, so it's, it's, it's a true stat. Um, you know, we just don't throw the ball to waste downs. If we're going to waste it down for a computer, we'll run the football and do that. But uh, he does a good job of getting us out of trouble this year. He doesn't have to win the game like I tell him every night. We don't have to win the game, just don't lose the game for us. Keep us off the turnover and keep the ball moving. Uh, he, he's going to make a lot of line calls tonight, and it's going to be exciting to see him his senior year playing you know, for the Copper Kettle. Well, when you came here back in 1999, uh, that following season, you got the win that you think is uh, the biggest win in our history almost uh, that really got the program starting, if you will, and it was for the Copper Kettle, and let's go out and get another one tonight. Yeah, I, I, I know the state championship in 2008 was the most unbelievable game, and it was against Carmel. Uh, but I do believe that 1999, or that 2000 game, 10-9 to at Trojan Field here, uh, really set the mark for our program. It was, the mo it was the most important game we'd played ever, and it might still be one of the most. And to me, it's, in my heart, is the most important game we played. We deserve to be in the state championship and win, but that the first time we played Carmel at home, that was a real showing there, and that showed the whole state that we can stand up and play with anybody. And since then, it's been a fun battle, and uh, we hope that it continues to kickstart our season. 
Copper Kettle is one of the biggest prizes in high school football here in Indiana. Go get it tonight. I love my family taking a picture with it. This this could be a, a Christmas card game for me tonight. So <laughs> uh, I hope everybody can enjoy the heat, put on their sandals, and come out and root for the Trojans and get the Copper Kettle. Go Trojans, beat Carmel.